Hello. We're indoors again because it's raining. It's rained all day and it looks as though it'll probably rain all night. We've had a lot of rain lately. Um, it gets dark too early. Soil saturated, it's far too wet. And it's just too cold to be doing anything outdoors. Certainly not uh, planting anything. Um, so I'm having to work indoors. But I've got myself some of this stuff, as you know. This uh, root grow, mycorrhizal fungi. Um, and what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to apply it to some onion sets that I've already got um, sitting in a pot of compost indoors and some early potatoes that I've got sitting in three inch pots indoors. Okay, we'll do the uh, onion sets first. These are those red skin onion sets that I got. Um, I've already made a start with these guys. Um, I've actually put some uh, mycorrhizal fungi uh, underneath these particular rows. Because um, you're not going to want to watch me do all that. But I've left two rows untouched between the two pieces of string. That row and that row doesn't have any mycorrhizal fungi uh, application. So we're going to do that now. So I'm just going to tease these guys out like this. I'll pop them to one side. Now if you were just planting these guys directly outdoors, if you weren't bothering about trying to start them off indoors, um, you could do what I'm going to do next outdoors. Plain and simple. Okay. Here's a mycorrhizal fungi. We'll just drizzle a bit in the bottom of all these uh, little indents. Okay. And then we'll sit the onion set directly on top of that. Um, and Bob's your uncle, as they say. How easy is that? Doesn't matter if they don't go in the one they came out of, does it? So that's how mycorrhizal fungi uh, applied to these red skins. I've already applied it um, to my stew on onions uh, off camera. Can you hear Molly barking? Can you hear her? That means we've got visitors. Okay. So we'll just move these to one side and then we'll do these uh, three potatoes okay these guys are let me think these guys are jazzy jazzy's a store-bought potato when they went in here they had chits on them and roots were starting to form so I thought well I've got to cover these up with something they've got to go in compost now I'm going to grow these guys on in 10 inch pots these are only in 3 inch pots at the moment um, but there's no way I could get loads and loads of 10 inch pots indoors it just wouldn't happen so this is an interim pot if you like um, and then later on in the season when the weather picks up we can start and do stuff. Um, we'll move these guys on into the 10 inch pots. But what I'm looking to do now is I'm looking to get most of this compost out and it is dry. These guys have never been watered at all um, so that we can see the set in there. And the way to do that is to pop your finger on the set to hold it in place. Just turn this upside down. Now let's see what we can see. Let's see what we can see. Whoa! Roots and chits everywhere, isn't there? Um, and the chits on the top have, have produced roots on the top, and the chits on the side have produced roots on the side. Um, so what we're going to do is, we're just going to hold this with our finger, 
like so and we're just going to drizzle some of this in and it'll catch on those roots on the way down and it'll also fall by the sides of the set hope you can see that it's, it's lodging on those roots great so we've actually got the uh, the fungi in direct contact with the root which is exactly where it wants to be to form that uh, symbiotic relationship uh, and in layman's terms symbiotic I think it means something like uh, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours uh, it's it's mutually beneficial the root um, benefits from the association the plant benefits from this association and the fungi benefits from the association so I think that's sums up symbiotic. How's that? That didn't take long did it? Right, so that's one done and because it's got some mycorrhizal fungi in there we'll put a ticket in so we don't get mixed up. Right let's do this guy. Finger on the set so it doesn't come out. Well look at that. And there's cheats and roots everywhere. These guys are going to take off once they go in the, in the big pot. They really are. Um, I think most people will have seed potatoes on windowsills and in egg boxes and all around the place now. And they will have cheats on but um, perhaps not as many roots as these guys. Uh, these guys are looking to kick on. So we'll just pop a bit of this magnetizer fungi in there. Hope you're getting it. Then we'll just bang that straight back in. How's that? Shake it in. Bob's your uncle. Put a ticket in so we know we've done it. So we know there's mycorrhizal fungi in there. And this one. Um, now I've got quite a few of these obviously, but you don't, you don't want to see me go right through the whole shebang here. You just want to get the gist of what's going on. Um, so, we'll find a set, we don't know if we can get hopefully. I think that might be it. And th th there is a, a chance that some of the cheats now could be broken up, because we are disturbing things. Um, the cheats grow back on, we know that, we've done the experiment haven't we? Okay, look at the roots in there. I mean, this thing's got a, a, a good root system going now. Once it gets a bit of this mycorrhizal fungi on it, oh, boy, oh boy, it'll be away. See that? I don't know how the light's catching it. Hope you're getting it. Right, we'll just pop that down and do that. And that's it. The next time we see these guys, I would imagine, they'll be going into 10 inch pots, although you probably won't see them as such, but you'll see this pot being emptied out and hopefully everything coming out uh, in a, a compact root ball and just being transferred pot to pot. So we know that uh, spring's just around the corner because um, there's a song thrush in one of my neighbour's gardens in the tree singing its head off even though it's raining and that's always a good sign. Um, there's lambs in the fields, uh, daffodils are starting to bloom, yeah these are all these are all good signs that spring's just around the corner um, so let's hope it's not too far around the corner. So there's nothing left really for me to say now other than roll on summer, roll on spring and um, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out. <laughs>